Okay, here we are back for part two of our peel ply fiberglassing method. Um, if you watched the first part, you saw this was all done as one big wet layup. We used uh, Z epoxy finishing resin uh, for no other reason other than I only needed a little small batch. Um, when I'm doing larger stuff, I either use the West Systems or now Thomas has turned me on to US Composites and as soon as my West Systems runs dry, I will be on to it, and apparently it's about half as much money for twice as much resin, so I'm hoping that stuff works out pretty good. Um, and uh, here's our, our piece here. I'll go ahead and I'll get, hopefully get this uh, piece of peel ply off of here with no uh, real issues, and then we'll quickly trim the uh, fiberglass for you real quick and weigh it, and we'll see where we went from those 23 grams we originally had, as you can see I marked there. So at any rate, let me... Uh, Get you on my very high-tech tripod here, 80 grit, and uh, hopefully we have uh, peel ply removal taking place. So here, like I said before, leave yourself a, a spot to get started from. But you get here, and if you pull it back over itself, you can see this is really no issue. Now this is a wing or something, of course it's going to be more, more surface area, so the effort I'm applying here would obviously be more on a larger area to pull it off of it. But this is coming right off. It took all the waxy bloom, right, and the excess resin with it. That's now trash, not reusable. What's left is 100% ready for primer. Um, I've, especially this stuff here is a, fine, uh, a much thinner fabric than I was using from the stuff from ACP Composites. Um, it used to leave more of a texture. This here is um, almost non-existent in the texture. The weave of the cloth is 100% full. There's absolutely no sanding or flow coat required. Um, and, and that's what we've done with it. Um, so let me grab my uh, my T-bar here with some sandpaper on it, knock the fiberglass off real quick. Turn on our scale, and there's the piece all trimmed up, and we'll drop her on our gram scale, and let's see how much weight we actually added. Again, we were 23 grams before, and as you can see, we got 28.1 grams. Is that good or bad? I have no idea. I've never weighed my fiberglass stuff before today. Um, I did cut off another piece of balsa to potentially do another test on, I may or may not, um, and I'll try it, I guess the old way, which for me would be the new way, because I've never done it any other way than what I just demonstrated, is I have the advantage of uh, Merlin Graves doing the Starship first, and I said, man, he made that look easy, and so I just did it that way. Um, so at any rate, I'm hoping the, the peel ply process here will be uh, helpful to you. As you can see, it, it certainly eliminates down from what I've... Uh, gathered on the amount of sanding required. Um, my next actual piece of fiberglass here is the center section off the B25. Um, it's uh, just sitting there on the engine of cells. I was checking my flap operation and things. I've got some uh, some interference here with the nacelle. So I'm going to have to shorten up my flap a little bit. No big deal. Um, same thing on the other side. It's uh, It hits pretty early on here so we'll be Making some adjustments on that and getting it ready for fiberglass. Um, we got to get the tops of the nacelles done, get some firewalls assembled and things of that nature. And then uh, we'll go from there. So at any rate, we'll see you on RC Scale Builder in the very near future. Thanks, guys.